the section 3.9 is one of the most important sections in all of calculus. I don't want to talk about the ideas here. The most important because the geometry is the thing that's going to be controlling um, how everything works. We need to find some geometric formula. Why? Well, that's our related rates formula. We're going to use it to the formula is what we're going to differentiate implicitly and all the quantities that we get when we take that implicit derivative will be our rates. So that's the whole point of related rates. As we go forward, um, we'll also need to know a timestamp so we can calculate the distances that are involved and know exactly when these rates apply. And we'll then plug everything in and solve for the unknown. So I don't, I'll come back to this at the end, but I want to start with an example or two. So the situation here is that we have <coughs> a police cruiser that is driving to the south and a truck that is apparently trying to evade pursuit driving to the east and you can see the rates there 180 kilometers per hour for the police cruiser and 144 kilometers per hour for the truck the question is how fast is the distance between the vehicles changing when the police car is 20 miles north of Sioux Falls and the truck is 30 miles east I'm sorry um, these say miles and it's actually kilometers so just remember we're talking about 20 kilometers and 30 kilometers let's take a look at the physical situation here so I'll show you the animation the police cruiser as you can see is driving south and the truck is driving east and we're asked to find this rate right the rate of change of the distance between the two vehicles so let me push this back to time zero and hopefully you thought to use the Pythagorean theorem that's the geometric formula that ties all the givens and unknowns together so let's label the legs and since we had the uh, truck going in the horizontal direction I'll call the distance it's traveled from Sioux Falls X and the distance of the police cruiser from Sioux Falls will be Y and that means that the distance from the police cruiser to the truck is S. A word of caution choosing variables is important like you don't want to use D for distance very often because of the differential notation and also T is a bad variable since we're always going to be differentiating with respect to time so S was uh, the best I could come up with so we are going to take this geometric formula and differentiate it implicitly with respect to time so we are first applying the power rule to the S right so we have the power of 2 so 2 comes down we have 2s and now we apply the chain rule the chain rule differentiates s with respect to t and again these differentials with respect to t these are going to be our rates and we'll do the same thing um, the power rule for x squared and y squared we can divide through the equation on both sides by 2 and again wow I've made this mistake this is not 20 miles this is 20 kilometers and 30 kilometers but at the moment that the police cruiser is 20 kilometers north of Sioux Falls the truck is 30 kilometers to the east and we're gonna call that time T sub 0 and this is what I mean by timestamp we have to be very careful to be calculating um, all of these distances X Y and S at the exact right time and it would be nice if they had the correct units <laughs> so here's our formula and we're going to go ahead and start filling in the rates that we know 
here finally in kilometers right the truck so x will be 30 kilometers because that's how far east the truck is the police cruiser oh there's miles that should be kilometers north of Sioux Falls so we'll plug in the 20 kilometers the truck is traveling, and finally, the units are right. The truck is traveling at 144 kilometers per hour. The police car is traveling at 180 kilometers per hour. So those are our differential quantities, right? That's why we were taking this implicit derivative with respect to T, because then we'd get um, an expression that had not only the distance that the truck was from Sioux Falls, we also have the rate at which that distance is changing. And similarly for the truck. And when we plug all of that in, we get 30 kilometers and the rate and 20 kilometers. And notice this. This is the most important thing right here. Why is this rate negative? So the police cruiser is traveling toward the right angle. It's traveling towards Sioux Falls. So that leg of the triangle is getting smaller, not larger. So when the distance, the magnitude of that distance is, it's changing, but it's changing in the negative direction because it's getting smaller. So now we just have two unknowns and they're both right here. The distance between the vehicles and the rate at which that distance is changing. And we can calculate S using the Pythagorean theorem, plugging in the 20 kilometers and 30 kilometers and we do that arithmetic and find that the distance between these vehicles at time zero is 36.06 kilometers. Okay, so now we go back to our rates equation and we plug in the 36.06. And again, the only thing we have left that we don't know is this rate but that's what we're asked to find. So we divide both sides by 36.06 and grab our calculators and we find that the solution, what they've asked us for, is this. The rate at which the distance between the vehicles is changing is 19.97 kilometers per hour. Does that make sense? I mean, really? Physically, does it make sense? Let's think about it. This rate of change is positive. That means S is increasing. The distance between the vehicles is increasing even though the police cruiser is the faster vehicle. Okay, does that make sense? So let's jump back into the animation and take a look at this. And I want you to notice what happens, right? especially when P gets really close to Sioux Falls, right? The distance of the distance that T is from Sioux Falls and the hypotenuse, they're essentially the same, right? So even though the police cruiser is driving faster, that hypotenuse is not changing very quickly, all right? So I just wanted to go back and take a look at that uh, to make sure that that made some physical sense. So yes, having a positive quantity um, the distance between the cars is growing at a rate of about 20 kilometers per hour. I'm going to stop here. We're going to do a second part of this problem, um, and we'll pick that up in the next video.